Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Trains Automation Destination. So in our last lecture of BDD Cucumber series, we discussed about how to execute test cases parallelly using BDD Cucumber with test engine. And then we discussed about how to restrict number of test cases to be executed parallelly. In case you haven't already looked into my previous video, I request you to please take a look. I'll be sharing the link of same in the i icon. And today we are going to discuss about another important topic that is how to execute or how to rerun the failed test cases. So before we move on to the demonstration, let us try to understand the use case. So suppose we executed 100 test cases sort and out of 100 test cases, 20 test cases got failed. Now what we want is we investigated these issues and we found like these are either from the automation script issues or the application bugs. So post fixing these issues in the application as well as in the automation script, we want to rerun them. So one way is going into each test case, the failed test case and providing some unique tag. Like for example, we can group them by at the rate failed. So all 20 test cases can be marked as at the rate failed and can be rerun. But this is not a strategic approach because right now it is 20, which is feasible to go into each test case. But tomorrow, for example, we got 50 test cases as failure, then it become impractical to go into each test case and change the tag, right? So to overcome that, there are two default in inbuilt mechanism in Cucumber as well as test engine. This is what we are going to cover today. So let us jump on to the demonstration part. So we have discussed about this test engine runner in the previous lectures. So if you notice in the Cucumber option section, we have a, this plugin option. And under this plugin section, what we need to do, we need to provide this rerun. So this rerun plugin is responsible for tracking the failed test cases. Along with this rerun, we need to provide the location where we want to track the failed test cases. Right. So if you will see under target, we don't have any fail.txt. So in order to track the failed test cases, we should have failed test cases also. So for that, what we are going to do. So we have one Google dot feature, which we have covered, which we have used in the previous lectures. So I'm going inside the step definition. And I'm marking this particular step as fail, uh, fail uh, intentionally so that it will be failed as, as a result of execution. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this test case now. So what will happen, this test case will be executed and we will get the test case status as failure and it will lead to generate one fail.txt under target. So we see that this test case got failed due to assertion error and we see that fail.txt also got generated. Right? When I go inside this fail.txt, it is pointing to the same scenario which got failed. So if you see, it is SRC test resources which has to be run in parallel which is same as this location and this 4 is nothing but the line number of this scenario which got failed. Right? Now as we have tracked this particular fail.txt, what we need to do, we need to execute these test cases. So how to do it? So for that, we need to create a replica of the runner. The runner. So I have created the same replica. I'm using the Cucumber options. So in the features section, I need to point to this fail.txt. So how we can point? So using at the rate target slash fail.txt, we can point to this. Now, before execution, what we need to do? I'm going into the Google.feature and I'm going to fix this issue. Right? Now, when I will execute this test case using failed runner, so we will see that test case will smoothly execute and the result will be passed. Right? So this is how we can execute the test cases, uh, failed test cases using Cucumber in uh, inbuilt mechanism, right? Or rerun plugin mechanism. Now, next we are going to discuss about the inbuilt mechanism of test engine because we are using the test engine based tunnel. So what we what I'm going to do now, I'm simply going to uh, mark it as fail once again. And uh, as we were using UI tester in this case, so if you will observe, we don't have any test output folder as of now because we we are not using the default mechanism of test engine, right? So to enable the default uh, features of test engine, what we need to do, we need to go to UI test runner once. So I'm going to this UI test runner. I am going in the edit 
and then after what we need to do we need to after coming here i'm using intellij so after coming here under the configuration section we need to click on this listeners so we have this one one this option use default reporters so we need to click on this to enable it so when we click on this apply and click on run this particular ui test runner will execute and this will generate one test output folder so let us see so we see that uh, test case is getting executed and it will be failed as well because this is the expectation and uh, we have intentionally made as false uh, made made it as a failure so we see that this test case got failed and we see that test output also got generated so under this test output folder we will see test ng dot test ng fail dot xml so now using this test ng fail dot xml we can re-execute the field test cases before that i am going to uh, pass that particular test case right now i'm going to rerun this particular test ng fail test xml So we see that uh, this is executing from this location and in this case test case will be executed smoothly without any failure so this is how we can execute the failed test cases using cucumber as well as test ng default behavior in btd and in the next lecture we are going to cover about i retry analyzer what is the purpose of using i retry analyzer and how it is different from the current mechanism that we have discussed for the failed test cases so this is uh, what i wanted to cover as part of current video thank you for watching i would request to please like share and subscribe thank you